Hello everybody, welcome back to Ghostly French Toes here, and today we're doing one of my favorite games of all time, Prey. And the thing that we're going to talk about today is the, the Mimic, sorry. <laughs> um, so let's dive on in. What the Mimic is, it's basically a four-legged small creature that can mimic into any small item, basically the same weight and same size, like you can mimic into a coffee cup, a lamp, like a small chair, you know? And when you, the player, gets close to one and tries to pick it up, it attacks you and uses that basically as its advantage of its camouflage and all that. So, um, some of the weaknesses the mimics have is the Q-beam the Q -beam and the glue gun. Um, the glue gun will basically, you can freeze it in place and you can beat it up with the shotgun, wrench, pistol, all that. Immunities is the EMP. And scannable powers are Mimic Matter 1, Mimic Matter 2, Regen M2, Regeneration 1, and if you scan the, scan the greater Mimic, you get um, Regeneration 2. Something I should feel like I should talk about is the chip that basically allows you, for your um, psychoscope, that basically allows you to um, get basically see mimics in disguise. So that's something you'd upgrade with your chipset. And now let's talk about the lore. These guys play a big part of lore. The the, ty the Typhons were first discovered during the Cold War when Russia launched a satellite into orbit. And it went, the satellite went offline, so they sent cosmonauts to go check on it. And those cosmonauts were attacked by the Typhon. And those Typhons were the mimics on that satellite. Um, the Soviets ba basically were worried and made a deal with um, the United States to basically partner up to build a space station in orbit um, to basically research the Typhon, contain the Typhon, make sure they don't come back to Earth. Because if they come back to Earth, when a single mimic kills someone, they multiply into four. We see in the little intro, introduction to of Prey. Um, after a little bit, there was a malfunction in the containment cell for the mimics, and they busted out, basically running rampant after the United States and Soviets built the space station and started to basically live on it. And that left the space station abandoned until it was picked up by Talos-1. And the, the heads of Talos-1, um, Morgan, Morgan you, the character you play as, and Alex you, your brother, basically become the head, um, head researchers, and basically everyone's boss on Talos 1. And we know what happens next. Next, though, basically another mimic outbreak basically occurs and basically takes over the whole station. That leaves you, the character, um, basically fighting your way through hordes of Typhon and all that. Um, something I, sh I should feel like, there is another ability which allows you to basically and Prey Typhon Hunter, not Typhon Hunter. Oh, we'll talk about that in a little bit. Um, Prey Moon Crash, which allows you to have a little pet mimic. I know it's not like canonical, but it kind of makes sense because you're already able to hack machines, mind Jack. Um, you're already able to hack machines and basically control them. And there's already a, um, a neural mod ability called Mind Jack, which basically allows you to take over a Typhon organism. Now on to my theories about the Typhon. So we know that um, the, um, the Mimics are basically smaller and less versions of the Greater Mimics. So I haven't talked about the Greater Mimics, I'll talk about them. Um, the, the Greater Mimic can basically transform the turrets, operators, um, and will not basically stop if you glue them to death, you know? So that's one of the harder things to basically fight in Talos 1. <laughs> um, yeah, that's for my theory, I feel like the Typhon, the, the Mimic as a whole, because the Typhon's a hive mind race, and I feel like the starter, the starter basically Typhon, were the Weavers, because the Weavers produce the little spores, and my guess that's basically they weave all the other creatures to life and make them, so, I'm not, so that got me thinking after fighting them in the game in the gut system. And it, now that I keep on looking at them, it keeps reminding me each one kind of looks like a bigger version of a Mimic. For example, the Phantom. 
it's a four limb creature that basically is allowed to basically angle its limbs at will and make them longer, shorter, deadlier, sharper. That exactly like the mimic. And then we go to the crystalloids. They they have these small little wave, wavy tentacles that basically allows them to move and all that. My guess that's just a smaller version of the mimic. Yeah. If you look at the the poltergeist, it looks like a, a longer version of the mimic. You got the two legs at the end, and then you got the the large large hands area. And I know the lore with the weavers is that they make phantom, the they make human corpse into phantoms. But I feel like the weavers started off with the mimics, and that was like the first thing. And it's more like the crystalloids grow into the mimics. If you catch my drift, it's, I know I'm rambling and all that, but I think it's cool. Um. So yeah. Now I hope you really enjoyed this video. Um. I. I really wanted to cover Prey. It's such an interesting game overall. So yeah, see you next time on Ghostly Wrench Toast. Bye.